Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in this episode of the G-Shock Watcher, we are taking a look at this particular watch, the brand new GMC B2100ZE-1A, the special 50th anniversary for Casio collector's edition of the chronograph version of the B2100. I'm excited to show it to you, so come and join me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as we said in the intro, we're looking at this watch, the GMC-B2100ZE-1A. Uh, a really nice watch. Um, I managed to ask, well, when I first heard about this on G-Central, uh, I definitely wanted to hunt one down, a very dressy version of the B2100s. Now, of course, the 2100s are a very moddable watch. They've made them very modular in the fact that you can really uh, uh, go online and buy some of the modification kits. I've done it myself a few times. I've got one here, which we're gonna use for comparison a little bit later on. Um, but this is a, a very dressy watch for a couple of reasons. One, it's a full metal watch. I don't think it's titanium, I think it's, it's steel. Um, but black steel with gold highlights, really, really pretty watch. It also completely removes any of the digital elements, right? So this particular watch, the B2100 here, um, this one always had in the bottom corner, if I look at here, so bottom corner over here, uh, this is the digital aspect of the watch, whereas here on the, uh, the GMC, no more digital elements. So we've gone full uh, analog on this particular watch, but it's no slouch in terms of its connectivity. It does Bluetooth and all these different things. So what I want to do is jump over to the overhead camera and take you through a bit of a tour of the watch and uh, some of my, uh, my particular thoughts on the watch itself. I mean, look, even before we get there, I can tell you, been wearing it for about a week got the uh, strap adjusted in a small shop in Thailand. I was nervous, but the guy was amazing. He did a really good job. They adjusted it about two or three times to get the right size. And I've been wearing it for the whole week and I've enjoyed wearing it. It's a nice watch, got a nice weight to it. Um, no slouch in the looks department either. Looks really, really great and does all the things that, that I kind of need it to do to be a nice watch, which I can go ahead and travel with. Anyway, I like it. Um, I hope you like it. Let me show you what this particular watch looks like, the GMC B2100ZE-1A. Okay, so this is the watch. Let's see if we can get that into frame. This is the GMC B2100ZE-1A, a very black and gold uh, watch bit tough to get it with the lighting. I'm really not good at lighting, but um, gold hour markers, gold around the days of the week. Uh, at the very, very top here, we've kind of got the, uh, the features. So as I go through the various modes up here, uh, let's just see the mode button here. This will go ahead and actually jump through. So stopwatch, timer, alarm, and then back to uh, timekeeping mode again. So um, not a huge lot of features. We have a couple of other uh, complications here. So the secondary timer is there. There's a 24 hour clock there. And then uh, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday over there. And then the date module down there. Um, not too much else. We've got the crown, which, you know, you can actually unwind to pop it out which will let us go ahead and actually edit some of the features here at the time and things like that, but we don't need to do that uh, because this watch also has Bluetooth. So as much as some people don't like that capability, it is very handy to help set the time on the actual watch. Uh, the bracelet is all metal, 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 can't even talk. You got the G-Shock there. We also have a individual little bracelet here uh, you can see here it says 50th anniversary on here for the Casio G-Shock or the Casio 50th anniversary. Um, but yeah, really nice looking watch. 
on the back, and this might be a bit hard to do, you can sort of see the uh, the symbol there for the, I think it's the, the Casio and the the triangle is the um, uh, the G-Shock symbol. What's it for? Carbon Core Garter, I think it is actually in there as well. Um, so it's not, not an MRG, not an MTG, but it's a B2100. So it's a very, very nice watch. In comparison, this is uh, another B2100. Uh, this one was modded uh, as well, so don't take this as the norm. But um, what you sort of see down here is the digital part of it. Now, when you look at these side by side, the difference you actually have is that this one, the new one, actually has the second hand display. This one doesn't because what this does is it puts the seconds in the actual digital elements. Now, typically when you get a B2100 or a 2100, you want to make sure it's a positive display. It's just a hell of a lot easier to uh, to be able to read. The, the negative ones at this size are really hard to see. I would not recommend anybody getting a 2100 with a negative display unless you really, really wanted to because it's the one thing that you're probably going to complain about uh, because it's very, very hard to read. But on this particular watch, really, there is no digital display. Uh, you don't need it because you have a second hand and the date is actually part of the analog. Um, so feature-wise, I can do things like uh, if I go over here to mode, I've got the stopwatch here. So if I press uh, there, not really any noise, but you can see the seconds are actually clicking through here. Um, so I can use that. I can pause it and then I can go back and reset it again uh, from that point of view. Timer, I can have the timer here and have this counting down. So you can see it counting backwards there. Um, the full time is in the bottom there, so that can count backwards. Uh, and then your other one is the alarm section there as well. So that's back to timekeeping. So not, not a lot of features on this particular watch. There is still, of course, the things I like as a traveler, which is uh, dual or swapping time zones. So if I hold this down while in timekeeping mode, you can see the watch actually shifting between time zones. I've got this set between Singapore and New York. Not that I travel to New York very often, but it gives, it gives you an idea about the uh, the change in times that it can go ahead and actually do. And then if I go and hold that back, we can switch back to a, uh, a Singapore time. Um, so very, very easy to go ahead and actually do. It also has some additional capabilities. So if I use the phone here, uh, what I can actually do, I think if I hold down this button here, it'll do a find my phone feature. So we'll hold that. And maybe a failed demo. Let's just go back here and make sure. Okay, we are connected to my watch so you can actually see the watch here. I'm pretty sure that's, oh sorry, that was connect. What I need is find. Okay, so this is find button here, right? So should have read the top of the watch. Hold this down. Hang on, let's connect again. So you can see we're connecting, we're connected. So let's go out. If I hold down find, there you go. That is the find feature of the phone, which I guess could be useful in case you'd lost your phone, but I don't think it's a new feature. It's been there for a while. So um, that's the actual watch itself. Pretty nice. The weight of the watch is 171 grams. So a weightier watch, um, a little bit bigger than the normal 2100s, um, but certainly a nice watch all the same. I do like this watch. 
it's a very nice looking watch. It feels good, uh, stainless steel band, one touch, three fold clasp, um, what else, dual time, just really the, uh, the basics on there. From a, a loom perspective, uh, a bit tough to see if we can make this work. Let me see if I can get a loom happening. We'll go as dark as possible. See if we can get the loom happening. Uh, I need the tiniest little bit of loom because I've got a big monitor in front of me here as well, which is making that a little bit hard to uh, to get. But the loom's not uh, not overly terrible for this particular watch. So there you have it, the GMC B GMC B twenty one hundred ZE dash one A. A very nice watch something which uh, you can actually enjoy and don't forget while this is the uh, the ZE-1A the limited edition one there are two other ones which you can also find um, those ones are the watches which are the silver and black uh, chronograph and there's also a silver and Tiffany blue one as well um, so there you have it GMC Dash B2100 ZE dash 1A. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it the GMC B2100 ZE dash 1A, the collector's edition for the Casio 50th anniversary, a black and gold chronograph, full analog with Bluetooth, with Tuss Solar. Um, great watch, really enjoyed wearing it. We'll probably wear it a lot during the week because I'm probably going to show it off. Um, very quickly becoming my favorite watch, although every watch is my favorite watch as soon as I get one until the next one. But I really think this is a very, very special one, and I'm really excited to be able to get my hands on it. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, I hope you'll consider this particular watch. This is the, the highest, I guess the highest end. It's a limited edition uh, version, but there are two other models which you can actually have a look at as well as one that's like a Tiffany blue and one that's like a black. I know people love that Tiffany blue one so um, definitely something to go ahead and actually consider if you like that uh, uh, B2100 sort of look and frame. With that ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy your G-Shocks and have a great day.